Hey, you my time. Don't dare the office. Hmm. Uh, just looking for the suitcases. Where do you put them when we moved in? It's convenient the one day I said I'd look for them, you're working late. I think you might be off the hook, because I think I just found them. You're going to help me sort through this junk, though. Try to see. Love you. Hey babe. Hey, missed you. Me too. Nice skirt. Oh, this old thing. Looks good on you. So, what have you got planned for us? Planned? Yeah. To celebrate. I thought you were doing that. Betty, I'm kidding. Oh my god. I knew you wouldn't have anything planned. No, come on, not that bad. I've been busy. Oh yeah? Doing what? Writing. You know when your parents kick you out of their cabin in the woods, you're gonna have to get a real job. Anyway, sorry. This is our special day. Let's talk about something else. What you got planned? Oh, that's a surprise. Come on, let's go. Well, you couldn't park to here. What, I'm risk getting the car dirty? No, we can walk the extra few minutes. Happy one year. Here's thought. I forgot the glasses. Of course you did. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Stole it from Dad. <laughs> You're going to have to finish this off. I'm driving. Who do you think I am? Is that whole bottle? Exactly, light work. Okay. Impressive! Right? <laughs> How lucky are you? Yeah, if you don't uh, make it as a mechanic, you always join the circus. Mm, perfect. My dad will love that. How's it between you two? Tense. Things haven't been good recently. Designated driving my ass. You know the rule. I can't talk about my dad without a bottle in me. What if we said fuck it? Fuck it? Yeah, you know, fuck it. You've got a car, you can drive to Oxford or Nottingham or fuck it, New York. Fuck it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. After school, we can skip uni. You can work in a, a garage. I can full time waitress and make it work. What about your writing? I can still do it on the side. As long as I'm with you and you're out of that house and away from that haunted house, we'll be fine. Haunted? Yeah, haunted. It's got to have some weird spirits, make your dad mad all the time. Yeah. Fair point. Anyway, 
Can we change the subject? Yeah, sorry, it just upsets me. I know it does. You've got the biggest heart. Oh, that reminds me. I've got you a present. No, we said we're saving for the holiday. I, I know, I know, but I saw this and I thought of you instantly. Mm. You didn't fold this. I did. Mm. I didn't. Mm. But I could have done. The lady in the shop did it for me. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I have had way too much of this to be able to drive, so... Fuck it. Fuck it. August 23rd, James stayed the night, again. I know it's been a year, but every time I see him, I still get that sinking feeling in my stomach. Like when you're on a roller coaster and it drops, but in a good way. We drank far too much last night and we laid there looking up at the stars for hours. He's the one. Now I know I'm 17 and I don't really know anything, but I know that I love him. I know, I know, but if you keep quiet, your next drink is on me. You know me all too well. What is it? Cappuccino, yeah? With extra chocolate, please. Of course, coming right up. Oh, hey, I didn't realise you'd be in today. Oh, you stole me. I didn't see you. I was just here. So, yeah, my head's a bit fuzzy today. Oh, I hope you're okay. Yeah, just a heavy night last night. <laughs> Oh, my name is James. Wow. <laughs> How much did you have to drink last night? A lot. Why? Do I look rough? We worked together a couple weeks ago. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Also, you look pretty good for someone who's just been drinking all night. Can we get a cappuccino for Rebecca on table 13? It's on me. Another one? She's had like three. She's only been here an hour. Honestly, she's a machine. Can we refuse service to someone if we think they've had a little bit too much? What? Drunk on milk with a splash of coffee? <laughs> no. I just mean I prefer not to do CPR on someone post heart attack. Fair point. I mean, she is cute though, don't get me wrong. Been mouth to mouth before 12pm, well we don't get paid enough for that. Actually, she's not really my type, so I'll leave the CPR to you. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, let, let me get this right. Only people your type would be saved by you. Honestly? I'm far too long over for this shit. Anyway, I'll just come. Don't worry, I'll get it. I'm um, also, the person who closed last night didn't clean the loop. So, Perfect. 
That's just what I wanted. Cheers, boss. Hey. Hi. Hi. Um. What can I do for you? Um. Yeah. It's a bit of bit of an odd one. My car's broken down. And what do you want me to do about it? Um. Yeah. Well, I only live like very close by. You want to mooch a ride off me? No, no, that's... Yes. <laughs> okay, one condition. I'm DJ. Okay, deal. Yes. It's my favourite time to drive. When it's dark, nothing better than just driving around these empty streets at night. I know. It's so peaceful. <laughs> I feel like it's the only time I get any peace. Anyway. Thank you. How long have you been in Reading? Oh, a few months now. My dad moved here when um, he split from my mum. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, it's okay. Um, they are better apart. <laughs> <laughs> How are you finding it? Reading. Oh, um, <laughs> it's nice. I mean, it's a bit quieter than London, but I, I think that's kind of what I needed. I haven't seen you around at Woodvale. Don't tell me you're one of those strange homeschool kids. <laughs> wow. Wow, James. You're such a charmer. No, I wanted to go to Woodville, but we moved too late in the year, so it wasn't really worth it. So you are one of those weird homeschool kids? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. How about you? Oh, um, I grew up around here. Born and raised. Reading till I die. <laughs> No, I, I've been going to Woodville since I was like 11. I live just around the corner. So I've always grown up wanting to go there, you know? Like, rug, captain of the rugby team, prom king, etc. Whereabouts? Forest Hill Estate. Oh, fancy. It's all right, I guess. My dad came into a load of money when my mum died. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to dump that on you. Um, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I was young. Well, if you need anyone to talk to, I'm here. Thanks. I appreciate it. Anyway, let's change the subject. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So, you seeing anyone? Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Boyfriend? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't want to assume. <laughs> no, no boyfriend, as far as I'm aware. How about you? Boyfriend? Girlfriend? Uh, I went through a rough breakup um, with my last girlfriend. Uh, so we're just, you know, going with the flow, seeing what happens. Girlfriend. So are you... gay? Um, pansexual, actually. Mm. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> um, it just means that, um, I'm open to love regardless of gender identity or sex. Mm. Okay, cool. So, so it's more about emotional attraction than to do with anyone's gender. Well, you're going to enjoy Reading. Every kind of person that you could hope for. I hope so. Come on, you've barely touched your burger. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh. Do you need to go home soon or do you want to stay here for a bit. Yeah. Fuck it. 
I don't need to go home, don't need to get up early. Although I, I, shit, I, I didn't realise it was this time. I'm, I will have to go, is, is that okay? Yeah, fine. Thank you for lifting. No worries. I feel like James has been distant lately. I'm not sure what's going on. I tried to ask him, but every time he's just dismissed it. Maybe a date might help. Hey, you've reached James. Sorry I can't get to the phone right now, but leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hey James, just uh, make sure you're okay. We were supposed to eat at seven, so uh, just let me know if it's quick now. Actually, just let me know when you're leaving and I'll start then. Love you. Bye. Um, do you want to get that? Nah, it's probably just work. We did lock up properly, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> also, do you want some more wine? Go on then. Are you sure you don't need to check who that is? Yeah, I probably should. Okay. Are you okay? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Yeah. Disaster. Oh shit, are you okay? Arsenal scored in the 88th minute. Mm -hmm. We're fucked. I told all the boys to put their money on Chelsea, they're so pissed at me. You're a dick. I thought it was actually something serious. It is serious, Augustine. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. This is really nice wine. I'm not normally a red kind of guy. Oh, well, I'm glad you like it. Um. I snuck into my dad's expensive wine cabinet for this. Well, cheers. Cheers. Also, make the most of it, because when he realises we've emptied a bottle, he's going to kill me. Make the most of it, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's my last day on Earth. Let's make the best of it, then.
Hey, Bessie. You're late. I'm sorry, I got stuck in the traffic on Cornelia Street. The Robux are a bloody nightmare. It must have been really bad, because you're a day late. So? So? So you didn't tell me why you didn't show up last night? I only saw your missed calls this morning and I, I, I've just been thinking about what I was going to say to you. Yeah, but it's not just last night though, is it? You've been so distant recently, I feel like I've never seen you. And don't try and deny it, James, you know it's true. I'm sorry. Things have been... They've been a little crazy lately. And I know I fucked up. I'm sorry. You're the love of my life. So I, um, I wanted you to have this. I don't need a ring. It's what my dreams about. Okay. Um. I'll keep it though. It's pretty. Okay. Yeah. All good. Okay. Actually, um, no. Do you want to come in and talk about it? Yeah, but I don't have long. That's okay. Um, do you want a drink? Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Alright. So what's up then? Your dad? No. I, I've not been entirely honest with you. I'm just going to come out and say it. You're making me nervous. I... I have a girlfriend. Betty. We've been together for about a year now. I love her, I really love her. I had a moment of weakness when I saw you and I, I gave into it. It was a mistake for me to kiss you. It was a mistake for me to flirt with you. It, it was a mistake for me to lead you on. I'm sorry. I know what I did was terrible. That, and I don't expect you to forgive me. You, you have a girlfriend? Yes. Augustine, I... Your love really is a losing game. Augustine, I'm, I'm sorry. Does she know? You told her? No. Are you gonna tell her? No. How could you not? It would destroy her! What about me, James? I, I, I'm really sorry, oh, Augustine. You're such a monster. I, You led me on, I was falling for you. It was never my intention, wow. but... You know what they say, falling feels like flying. So you hit the ground. I liked you too. But I just loved her more. How could she say that? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. I don't expect you to forgive me, but is there somewhere we can move past this? God, you're just like the rest. I mean, I just, just once, just once, I'd like someone to choose me. For, for me to be someone's whole world. And when I was with you, James, that, that's how it's felt. 
when I saw you, it was like, it was like the world just stopped. You let me down. Yeah. Augustine, I, I said I get out. Okay, perfect. Um Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Gotcha. Hello. Oh, oh, hey, um, is this Inez? Who is this? Oh, yeah, um, my name is Augustine. I'm new to Reading. Who gave you my number? Uh, uh, Carly gave it to me. I know her from the coffee shop I work at. That bitch just giving my number out. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah. Um... So I was told I should go to you? You have my attention. Do you know James and Betty? Yeah, I have English with them. They are insufferable. Well, what if I told you that James has a secret? You have my attention. Have fun. Well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, you can kiss Prom King goodbye, you prick. Hello? Yeah, you'll never guess what. <laughs> I mean, come on. What was he wearing? He looked like a knob. Hello? Arthur Betty? Sorry, I was zoning out. What were you saying? Just that... Jack, why did he come dressed like that? Like what? Vampire. Such a fucking cliché. Appropriate though, seeing as how he sucks the life out of everything. <laughs> Don't know, I thought to the right. Yeah, of course you take his side. What? What do you mean by me taking Jack's side? What's your problem tonight? Ah, oh, just leave it, James. No, because it's pissing me right off. I go to this stupid fucking party with this dumb outfit and I don't even get to drink just that I can show for you there and back. And I'm the villain. All right, sorry. Just drop it, please. No, if you've got something you want to say, Betty, say it. All right, fine. I didn't really get to enjoy the party. Oh, why not? Because everyone was talking about us. About you. When Ed's been saying that apparently you're seeing some girl. Augustine. I don't fucking believe this. So I talk to you about it. <laughs> You've got to be joking. Inez. The biggest gossip in the county. Well, everyone was talking about it, so I thought I'd bring it up. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe you. You know you can't believe a word that comes out of Inez's mouth. So it's not true then? No. Okay. I'm gonna get my stuff. I'm not gonna let you walk home alone in the dark. I just wanna go home. Are you raising your voice in this house? My dad 
He's asleep upstairs. I don't give a fuck. I hope he wakes up. I hope he hears what you've done. There. Drive yourself home. Also, it's the first time for everything, huh? Should I her drive it? Augustine? You don't want to talk. Oh, look at me. My boyfriend's cheating on me. Victim, victim, victim. I didn't fucking cheat on you, Betty. But if it's perfectly into your innocent little act, maybe I should tell Inez what you and Jack did at New Year's Eve. That's right. I went to get us drinks and I turn around to see you dancing on Jack. It's not that. Just so you can go around pretending like I've been cheating on you. When really, it's you. James, please. You're the problem. Not me. James, let me fucking speak. Betty. Stop. You fucking child. Yeah, go on. Cry. You fucking psycho. You can turn it on and off when you want to, can't you? Betty. Betty, I'm... I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. I didn't mean any of that. Sleep. Sleep me alone, James. I'm sorry I'm away from my phone right now, but if you leave a message, I'll call you as soon as I can. Okay, bye. Hey, you've almost reached Betty. I'm so almost reached Betty. I'm so you've almost reached Betty. Almost reached Betty. Hey, you've almost reached Betty. If you leave a message, I'll call you as soon as I can. Almost reached. Almost reached. You've almost reached Betty. Hey, you've almost reached Betty. I'm sorry I'm away from my phone right now, but if you leave a message, I'll call you as soon as I can. Hi. Do you want to go for a walk? Sounds good. So peaceful. Yeah, it is. After James, peace is exactly what I need. Mm. How was your journey? Yeah, no, it was all right. I mean, I hit a bit of traffic, but you don't actually live that far. Was that on Cornelia Street? Yeah, oh, it God. was. No matter how many times they close that off, they never fix the potholes. <laughs> well, I'll keep an eye out for it. Thanks for coming. I, um, I didn't think you would. Well, to be honest, I didn't think I would either. Um, I, I just thought you'd hate me. Hate you? Didn't do anything wrong, it was James. Yeah, but 
aren't you angry? Well, yeah, I want to cut his balls off, but <laughs> I want to speak to you and make sure that you're okay. Yeah, I, I feel that. And I appreciate you coming to speak to a total stranger. Mm. Well, not a total stranger. Obviously, we have one thing in common. That was really insensitive of me. Um, how are you holding up? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just... Uh, I just feel a bit bummed. I just... Uh, I feel like I've been used. Don't mind me asking, um, how did you meet? At work. It's that fucking coffee shop. God, it's awful. <laughs> I swear, every time I go in there, the coffee's always burnt. Hey, that's not our fault. Just really shit, cheap grinds. Mm. Right. Well, for what it's worth, I can see why James liked you so much. Clearly not that much. And he spoke so highly of you. Is that before or after he cheated? Fair point. Yep. Um, <laughs> if it's the fact you even invited me here and you're having an actual conversation, I mean, most girls would have murdered me by now. I'm in the woods, so there's still time. Yeah, true. <laughs> I can see why James liked you too. And you're funny, smart. Well, if that boy gave us nothing else, at least he brought us together. Isn't that something? Mm. Gosh, I feel like I've wasted a year of my life. Yeah, I feel that. But he wasn't even actually mine to lose. No, but you did lose him. So it doesn't matter how long I was in the picture, it doesn't invalidate how you feel. Thanks, Betty. I'm here to talk anytime. My number in your phone. Uh, yeah, no. I'll um I'll call you. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> this has actually been lovely. Yeah. Like we should definitely do this again. Yeah, sorry if I'm taking up your day or No, no, not at all. Um just on the way to the cafe actually to hand my notice in. I I just, I just can't face it anymore. I can come with you if you want. No, no, it's okay. Um But we should grab dinner sometime. We have a lot more free time, so. Yeah. Tonight? Yeah. Sounds good. One last chance. Betty! Hey, wait, wait! I want to speak to you. Go on then. Okay, yeah. Um. Let's speak now, James, I've got a party time. Yeah, sorry. I I've been planning this for weeks. And it's only just sinking in the that this is the last moment I get to dream about what might happen when I see your face again. It's true. What Inez said. You can't trust a thing she says, but this is true. About Augustine. I know. Every minute I spent with her I was still thinking about you. Sleeping with her was the worst thing I have ever done. And I hate that I've done this to you. Hey. Oh. Hi, James. I didn't realise that you two were friends now. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? It's funny what can bring people together. What do you want? I mean, because we're trying to have a good time and you're ruining it. I want to speak to Betty. I think you lost that opportunity when you cheated on I know! Me. I know I fucked up. But no matter how much you both hate me, just know I hate me more. Actually, Augustine, can you just give us a minute? Are you sure? I don't owe him anything. No, I know. I just, um, just want to hear him out. Okay. 
one minute on the clock and then I'm coming back to save you. What do you want, James? Like I said, I wanted to tell you how sorry I am. When I rode up to your house, it was, it was like I couldn't breathe. I've been planning this moment for weeks, how I'd come to your party, how I'd tell you how sorry I am. How we'd kiss on the porch. I've like done a hundred times. So here I am. And all I want to do is make it up to you. So what do you think? Will you give me one more chance? Thank you.